Wait, if he's the mom, am I the dad? I never thought I was gonna be a father, guys. They're just so beautiful. Look at them moving around. They're, they're trying their best. They have baby bones. So this one's already dead. He already died. Well, at least we have four others. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's MBR and welcome back to some more Subnautica. It's been far too long, you guys. It's been a very long time since I last played this game, but they've updated it quite a bit. As you know, the devs of this game are just insane and they update all the freaking time, especially in experimental mode. And yes, I'm in experimental mode. That, that's right. I experimented with fish. I don't know, what? Honestly, I've been trying to wait for a lot of updates to kind of happen all at once so that I can get it, crumple it all up into a nice updated video sandwich and then take a bite out of it and bird feed it into your mouth for your viewing pleasure. What the heck am I saying? <laughs> Anyways, guys, there's been a lot of new updates uh, as you can even just see from the UI. It looks nice and clean and fresh. Look at that. That's so cool looking. Just the O2 and this, that, and that, that stuff there, all those things. But the main things that I'm really excited for are both the fact that they've updated it to have a ghost leviathan in the game, which I've only seen pictures of in the Lost River biome, so I'm gonna actually go and spawn it there, put it where it belongs in its home. They've also added the primary research facility or the Sea Emperor prison to be complete now, and it has the Sea Emperor in there, and, and it's gonna be pretty, pretty sweet. So we're gonna spawn over here at the Lost River biome really quick. I love this place. Oh my god. The memories, guys. It's flooding back. Oh shoot. Oxygen. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, am I good? Is it okay? I totally spaced about that. No, no, dear. No damage. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Hi! That was a close one. Wow! He was gonna murder my face off. He was gonna take it, put it on. I, I don't know why I always say that in video games. This guy's violent. What the heck, dude? Ow! Dude, he just chomped my face. What the heck? All right, well, let's fight fire with fire. Uh, I guess I will spawn. I'm so ready for this. I've been wanting to see this guy in person for a long time. Oh! Oh, look at you! You look like you're a tree. This guy is so awesome looking. So if you guys haven't seen the pictures, uh, you, you know, pop up here. That's the picture that I'm talking about. I thought it was gonna be a lot larger than that. I mean, it's pretty big, but I thought it was gonna be like at least three times the size, I wanna say. That's so weird though. The body, it's like, oh, and it's gone. The inside of its body looks like a tree, like in the game, the, the ones that are over there somewhere where the ghost rays are and they get infected and stuff like that. Yeah, those trees. Either that or each one's a magical nipple. You blow on it and make a wish. <laughs> I wish for this game to be released already. <sighs> Only time will tell if it works. I also realized that I'm playing on minimum graphics. I have a new computer. I can handle it now, you guys. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go on highest and high, because why not? Wow. Look at those nipples in high resolution. <laughs> We're gonna let him swim away. We're gonna let him do his thing. I think one is the default speed. I'm not entirely sure, but oh my God, this guy looks freaking sweet. He's chomping me. He chomps me too. No, no fish in the sea want to be on my team, I guess. I'm a, I'm a loner. I'm the last one to be picked at sea gym. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go now. Oh, this guy. He thinks he's tough, tough stuff? Yeah. How does that feel? And he's gone. I, either that or I killed him, I don't know. God, I have missed this game so much. And it's actually, now that I'm playing it on high resolution graphics instead of potato graphics like I was before. In fact, I don't know why. I was playing on potato graphics before. My, my computer that I had previously wasn't that bad. It could have definitely handled at least medium graphics, but for some reason, I just wasn't playing it on that. Maybe because I wanted the high performance, you know, for the competitive sport of Subnautica. I don't want any dropped frames so that I don't get the headshot. Oh. Oh, I forgot about you. Oh God, came out of nowhere. Oh my God. Oh, this game. God, this game is gonna be so terror. Ooh, hey, it's an egg. Is it gonna, oh, no, baby, baby, you're gonna, I'll save you, baby, I'll save you. No, come here. Eh, I saved him, only to kill him once more. It's gonna be tough to get to the primary facility when you have the full release of this game and you don't have cheats on like I do because I'm just a big old scaredy cat. I also really quickly wanted to check out what the Cyclops is like. It had an update as well, including like shields and stuff like that. So, wow, it has like a display of your health. What's over here? Is this just the, the naming stuff again? Floodlights, okay. Trying to see where the, is it attacking me now? Oh. Oh. Wait, what's all this? Silent oh, silent running. That's the one where it's like, it takes less power and you're running silent. That's pretty cool. Emergency speed. Emergency speed. Okay. 
Interesting. So yeah, you have like a bunch of different, uh, activate. Oh, and torpedoes. What? The this is freaking sweet. A little scanner on the right hand side. Then you have, looks like shields and stuff like that. Th Dude. The Cyclops is freaking awesome now. Once this game is full release and it's brand new, I'm definitely going to come back to it and replay through the survival scenario of the... Oh, it does not like my ship. And play the survival mode uh, yet again. But we're, at the moment, I think experimental is pretty fun just because you get to see all the new stuff before anybody else does. And it makes you feel special. All right. And here we are at the primary research facility, also known as the Sea Emperor Prison. I'm going to go inside and... We're just gonna take a look, I guess, and hopefully we don't get killed by anything crazy in here as well. Or we're just never gonna go through. I think I might have to free cam it all the way through. Or wait, am I... What just happened? I free cammed, but now I'm in inside? Oh my god, dude, this place is freaking sweet looking. Holy crap, this is huge. What do we have over here? It looks like some sort of uh, relic room, I guess. This is like the museum. What do we have? We have a sword of some kind. Okay. Maybe to actually slay the sea emperor. Um, something from Stargate. I love that show. Then we have yin and yang. What the heck is all this? This is awesome. Ooh, data terminal. Emperor Project Data, okay. According to the logs, an indigenous life form referred to as the Emperor Specimen was found to produce a unique substance they referred to as Enzyme 42, which is what they used to cure the Karar, which inhibited the symptoms of the infection in the other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained here in addition to the eggs it was found guarding. The alien researcher went to great lengths to provide the life form's environmental needs, including the import of interdependent flora and fauna via the on-site warp gate. However, its health quickly began to deteriorate. At the time of the bacterial outbreak, the resulting quarantine, all attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine had been unsuccessful. Okay, so they're talking about the Sea Emperor, obviously, and then what they were doing to actually try to cure the Karar virus. What is all this? I wish I could interact with this stuff. Can I wait? Can I scan it? <gasps> what? Despite its simple design, this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, the most of a solar and most of a solar system. Holy crap! Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. I will agree to that. Are they all different? Oh my god, they're all different. This rock-like material features a biomechanical parts to match the components identified on the warpers encountered. Materials such as this have been a fundamental building block of the alien's own self-repairing mechanisms. Okay, so that's something that has to do with the warper. Sorry if I'm gonna- I'm gonna read all these, because I'm actually really interested in what all this stuff is. That's some sort of alien boomerang, I guess. It is unclear why technology of this sophistication has not been found elsewhere on the planet. Its production has been restricted or too costly, or it might have been pillaged from a more ancient civilization. So that's from something before the precursors. That's kind of crazy. This alien device appears to be designed to eliminate all organic substances in range by emitting a lethal but contained radioactive field. Oh my God. So these are all just like weapons then, like really powerful things. What is, there's nothing in this one. What did I just scan? That, I got gypped. This case is highly sophisticated nanobots capable of infiltrating a foreign body and deconstructing in from the inside. Oh! So it's just an invisible weapon that can just turn your body inside out. That's fun. The markings on this device seem to serve no purpose beyond a decoration. It may be an alien equivalent of a lamp or a magnifying glass used to examine the other relics in more detail. Okay. This is all just super insane. They were just like collecting Relics, and by relics, I mean really powerful weapons. What is this Stargate looking one? Uh, this device is a rudimentary version of the keys used to access these facilities and may be kept here for symbolic purposes or legacy support. Okay. This is another one of the bacteria things, right? Yeah. Scan. Wait, wait, wait. What did it say? Translucent metal in the distant end of the periodic table. Scans do not reveal any contents. Okay. So that one's just straight up empty. What is this one? Why is there a sword here? I kind of want to know about that one. An ancient earth blade. Oh, something from Earth? Okay, that's interesting. Dated back to the 13th century Mongolian Empire. Blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of state from that period. So is this the sort of like Genghis Khan or like... I'm wondering if these are all like every single case is a weapon used by the greatest conqueror or I guess greatest, the worst, you know, evil person on whatever planet that it comes from. I mean, obviously besides the warper thing or whatever. Um, this carving... Hundreds of thousands of years old and made from an unrecognizable natural fiber, likely grown on an as yet undiscovered planet. I can't read when it's vibrating like this. I don't know why it's like that. So this is just a huge museum of like really powerful objects, weapons, and random stuff, I guess. I don't know. What the heck is this? It's like some crazy tube system. Is, is there like an underwater hamster 
wheel here. Alien pump. Oh, it's a pump system. Never mind. Not as fun. This machinery is pumping water to and from the attached pipe network. Outflow. Oxygen deprived water is being flooded from the system. Inflow. Analysis of the water composition flowing in indicates it is being drawn from a different biomes between here and the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility and oxygen rich. So it's just bringing in oxygen from above and cooling something in here as well, probably. I'm assuming. So they, they pretty much created a water slide. That's what they did. They're they're getting water from up top, so it's not like super, you know, lava hot. They they created a water slide. See, they the precursors know how to have fun, guys. It is incredibly leggy in here though. That actually seems to be a long running problem whenever they update it and they have a new facility to explore. It seems to be really laggy the first couple updates, and then they kind of they kind of smooth it out a little bit. But I think that it's just rendering too much stuff and it's just kind of just like there to be an artistic version of of what they plan it to be. Oh, we got a warp gate over here. Nice. Insert field crystal. We can now open the gate to the star gate. Bada bing, bada boom. I never realized how much of a, it just kind of looks like a freaking Minecraft block. I need to fix that. All right, here we go, guys. Where are we going to end up? I totally spaced out where it actually is going to take me. Did I go anywhere? Hey, we're at the mountain. Um, next to the the gun and then straight back we go because we've already been to the gun many times No one cares about the gun. They just want the primary research facility. Wait Can I not go back? Maybe if I just keep pressing forward, it'll make me not backwards No, don't double warp. Stop double warping. Maybe if I just spam forward It'll make me just move a little slight. All right. Give me a second one second guys. And we're in the ceiling. I don't know if... Is that supposed to... Is that supposed to happen? The heck is this? I don't even know what this is. It looks like um somewhere where you put a processor in a, in a computer. You know what I mean? Little pins. Usually you bend them. And you break your computer. Got little pedestals. I don't know. I don't know what this room is for. Well, there we go. That's a room. What is this? Everything is sponsored by Razer. Emperor egg hatching project data. Ooh, that is interesting right there. This device records all available physical data from a single point in time. The last recorded data was set to capture just after quarantine was imposed on the facility. Specimen data, the main containment chamber here housed a sea emperor leviathan and its eggs. The parent leviathan's health had deteriorated. Its eggs appeared to be in good condition, but in some form of natural stasis. The data shows that within the vast specimen containment unit, the incubation system had been constructed to house the leviathan's eggs. Likely, the alien researchers had refocused their efforts to develop a vaccine on the unborn infants. The incubation system suggests they had resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes, which would stimulate the natural hatching environment. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and access points to the facility were sealed. While the unborn emperor specimens may have held some potential for the development of a vaccine, it is highly unlikely that the parent or children survived having their food supply cut off and being isolated from the rest of the ecosystem. Okay, so they might all be dead in here. We might not actually have a sea emperor in this facility. So now the only way to go, I guess, is through this, this gate right here. Let's try it out. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh, translating local alien broadcast warning vaccine development program terminated emperor egg hatching project terminated life specimens terminated evacuate immediately I'm here for a reason <laughs> I kind of want to find these eggs if they're even here. Was that the gate we just tried to go through? It is okay perfect So we landed in the exact room we needed to be in What the heck is all down here? Oh my god Oh Oh! Holy God, that scared the crap out of me. Oh! You! You beautiful, beautiful man. Holy God. Why? Whoa! I'm sorry. Whew! I didn't think that was ever gonna happen to me again in this game. Ha! Yeah, that, that's, that's a, that's a... That's a sea emperor. <laughs> That's what they are. Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear at this time. Great. Thanks for thanks for letting me know. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reasons unknown. Okay. So I'm guessing that that means that the precursors have a like some sort of device of some kind that'll actually make them super chill. A chill ray? Is that what it is? Are these the eggs? Is that what these are? 
These look weird. Sea Emperor Leviathan eggs, there we go. Nice. It is likely that the ideal hatching conditions vary considerably from ideal conditions for survival on the planet. The local ecosystem appears to have prioritized the latter. Oh, on the, on the parent, not the planet. That's a little bit better. Interesting, so in order to hatch the eggs, you have to kill the Sea Emperor or something? I don't know. How do I? Quartz and computer chip? Can we already hatch them? Dude, this guy's, wait, is he watching me birth his children? Did that just happen? Holy crap, this guy is huge. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! This is awkward. And that's the birds and the bees, boys. That's how, uh, that's how babies are born. Just like that, and this is how they move when they get outside of their egg. Every human being starts this way, and then every human being ends this way. Oh, I'm- I'm sorry. Please don't, um... Just, uh... uh it wasn't me. Look at this guy. Oh my god, this guy! This guy is awesome! He has, like, interaction movements and stuff. I've never seen this kind of a script with any of the characters in this game. Wait, if he's the mom, am I the dad? I never thought I was gonna be a father, guys. It's just so beautiful. Look at them moving around. They're, they're trying their best. They have baby bones. This one's already dead. He already died. Well, at least we have four others. I want to I see what happens when I spawn a ghost leviathan in here. If they're going to fight it out. Is it going to eat the babies? That was awesome. <laughs> I'm kind of confused though because it said that in order to have the ideal hatching conditions, I wasn't able to have the ideal living conditions for the sea emperor itself. So I don't know if, if maybe the babies are actually dead and they're just stillborn. That's... Kind of sad. I, mean, I was a dad for half a second, guys, and now I'm not. Wait, I wonder if this is the dad. Quite the size difference. But size doesn't matter. What's behind there? That's just a wall. Um. Oh! It's a portal to the high dive. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, I think that just about does it for this episode of Subnautica. I think I explored everything in here. I could be wrong. This place seems immense. It's, it's huge. But if you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Leave a like and a comment down below. And if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one and more in the future. I will see you guys in the next one. And remember to keep having fun. Bye-bye.